This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. I have got access to GPT-4 with code interpreter plugins in chat GPT plus subscription. So I thought I will try it out. Okay. Uh, so for this, you need to have chat GPT plus subscription, which costs around $23 in India. So once you have subscribed to chat GPT plus, you can go to the settings over here and you can enable beta features, basically plugins and code interpreter. So once you enable that, you can, uh, you know, select GPT-4 as model over here. And once you do that, if you see code interpreter is present over here. Okay. Uh, so the code interpreter plugin gives GPT-4 uh, environment, a sandboxed Python environment where it can run code, Python code to do your task. So let us try to analyze a data set using, uh, you know, code interpreter. So first let me upload data. So I'm actually uh, uploading Kaggle survey responses for 2022. Okay, so this is a survey data. So I'll upload this data and I will say that uh, analyze this data. Okay, let's see what happens. So it actually realizes that this is, you know, something of a task for the code interpreter. So basically, uh, you know, it looks at this data set. It generates code for this data set okay if i say show work so basically it is generated this python code for reading the csv file and then it analyzes the results of this you know output and it says that the data set seems to be from Kaggle survey conducted in 2022 it contains responses from variety of questions about data science and machine learning so it gives a description of this data data set is quite large and complex with 296 columns it looks like many of the questions allowed multiple responses so then it asks like are there certain aspects of the data would you like to focus on? For example, interested in demographics and so on. So I will say that, uh, can you visualize, can you create visualizations for the data? Can you create visualizations? Let's see what it says. So yes, uh, it can be a great way to understand data. It would be useful if uh, you could specify what, for example, we could, uh, you know, uh, please let me know which of these aspects like distribution of respondents age. So I will say like um, all of the above, right? I want to be as natural as possible in the way I'm communicating with, uh, you know, chat GPT over here. So it's actually working over here. Let's look at what is the code it's generating. So it's kind of generating figures over here, right? For distribution of respondents age, uh, distribution of respondents gender, you know, uh, geographical distribution of respondents, uh, extract the column related to programming languages, plot the most commonly used programming languages. Okay, a lot of distributions it is actually generating over here and it's actually plotting them. So let's wait for the results. Okay. Okay, let's say hide work and let's see what's, yeah. So it is actually generating these wonderful visualizations on the data over here. So this is distribution of respondents genders. Okay, uh, top 10 countries of respondents. You can see most of the respondents are from India, right? Most commonly used programming languages. I apologize for the error. There is some, uh, this thing, uh, distribution of respondents job roles does not exist. Okay, uh, it seems that no comment in the word role. So it is doing some other uh, visualizing the distribution of respondents education level, right? Uh, okay, there are some mistakes in the data set. That's what it is saying. Okay. So it's doing all these wonderful visualizations for you. Uh, basically it even asks which kind of visualization you want in the terms of which columns you want to visualize. Uh, but I gave it all of the above and that's what it is actually trying to do over here. Okay. More specific questions are of areas of interest. Okay. Now uh, let me ask like based on this data set. Can you predict if a respondent is a student? Okay. See, there is one column which says whether the respondent is a student or not. So I am trying to see if we can build a predictive mo uh, co you know, model based on the other columns of data to specify whether, you know, to predict whether uh, based on the other column responses, whether this is a student or not. So it says in this data set, the column indicating whether a respondent is student is not is Q5. So let us check for unique values of this column. So it searches for that. 
and uh, indeed contains information uh, whether it is this thing so to create a predictive model we need to first select which features to use as inputs ideally these should be features that are likely to be relevant many columns in this data set are not directly suitable for use because you have multiple choice answers which have been split across so additionally many ma machine learning models require so given these considerations uh, select relevant features we'll develop a predictive model like this encode categorical data into numerical form split the data into a training set and test set train a model on the training set evaluate the model on the test set okay let's proceed with this however due to we might need to simplify and use uh, would that be acceptable yes okay let's see what it does over here so it actually work uh, it starts creating a code right to perform you know basically write a classifier based on a target column so the target column over here is q5 right uh, which is your whether it's a student or not and then it picks up certain columns over here q2 q3 q4 and then it tries to create a classifier and it is actually created a classifier over, over here so um, you know for uh, it gives again the matrix of the classification like precision recall it explains that in text as well over here okay using more relevant features will be used. so i'll say that uh, try to use more relevant features let's see what happens okay so it says for simplicity let's consider a few more features so in this way actually iteratively you can improve your prediction model okay so with this code interpreter what we have shown that is that we can visualize a data set it can suggest what kind of analysis can be done on this data set right uh, it can explain this data set for you and then it can even create a prediction model or some other kind of analysis on this uh, data set so this is quite an exciting feature uh, it may not replace data scientists but it would be really helpful for data analysts and data scientists to get a baseline version of a model and then further maybe you can improve your model yourself you get all the code over here uh, you can play around in improving the model but it gives a lot of you know baseline analysis uh, it gives some baselines on your data i liked it for this particular uh, feature okay so it's actually trying to improve this model over here uh, by creating some new features okay it started including some new features over here and uh, the best part is that for every step you have this code right which it writes uh, to perform this task so you can copy this code out uh, you can build your own notebooks your own code and you can you know copy this code and you can improve upon this so it is helpful in creating a quick baseline it may not replace a junior data scientist or anyone but it can improve productivity that is what is, are my thoughts okay so i hope this video on code interpreter plugin from open ai uh, uh, which is available in chat gpt plus um, is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video